Hello, everybody. Hello. It's your girl, Andrea Jones. Um, first of all, I want to shout out to my sis. Hey, girl. You know who you are because I told you I was just about to make this video. Um, I want to talk to you specifically, sis, because me and you connected today on a whole nother level. And I wanted to do this differently. I wanted to have time to get myself together. Um, excuse me. Get myself together and then um, have a one-on-one -on -one sisterly um, conversation um, with you uh, on one of my videos. But I felt in my spirit that I need to do this differently and that I need this to be kind of a collective thing. But I'm still talking to you sis first because there are some um, topics that her and I wanted to discuss. Um, we were already discussing these topics amongst one another. But I was going to put these on my site for my ministry because Andrea Jones TV is Andrea Jones TV. That means, honey, you're going to get the meltdowns. You're going to get everything. And that's not exactly my ministry, but God is always in the midst, no matter how down and out, how ratchet, how reckless, or whatever I done been. The Lord have been with me through it all and he done had my back and encouraged me through it all um so i wanted to do something specific for the silk ministry because this is a ministry that god helped me find so he believes in me and my struggle no matter how bad i might seem or i might be um to everybody else to god to God, He sees something in me um, that He can use. Um, he showed me videos with me with my color wigs doing gospel R and B. Like He got something very specific that He wants to do with me. So even though I am the way that I am, God knows how to use it for His good, and He knows how to change me just enough to make it work so sis i want us to talk about some of these topics that her and i um need to discuss because i was watching your video and something that really touched me was when you were saying you didn't really know if jesus christ exists sometimes you know because um the pastors and some of the stuff that happened in the church now I understand that because I have my own issues as far as the church. I mean, look at me. Look at how I act. You know, um, I was I don't act like this all the time. Um, I have different sides to my personality, you know. I'm a whole person, you know, I'm happy, I, I like um, influences, I'm trendy, you know, so one minute I might be like the little school girl, the next minute I'm like Shanae, you know, but at the end of the day, that's just me, I'm very creative and that's like my style or whatever, but um, I want to go into a little detail about the church, you know, um, whew, and it's not really about not being accepted in the church or anything like that, it's not really about that, it's just about some of the individuals, Lord, please guide my mouth and my thoughts to help me articulate what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Jesus. Um, some of the pastors in the church, um, I feel that we have um, some issues because okay, the reason why I feel like we got some issues is because I do talk about God. And I feel that a lot of these individuals feel the need to try to subliminally direct um, how the people feel about the way that I act or what I say regarding my life um, and, and my subscribers or, or anybody just indirectly or directly who I'm speaking with about anything. It's like they always try to push off their um, etiquette of how they behave onto me because I say I love Jesus Christ. Um, 
first of all, God has taught me to be myself. Um, yes, I might go overboard sometimes, but God has shown me that when I'm getting loud, something ain't right. And there are instances where I have heard God say something to somebody that you wouldn't even think that he would have said and he said it because they was that downright trifling and evil. Okay, that was a good angle. I should just leave it right there. Okay. So anyway, sis, first thing I wanted to say was some Psalms, but I, at some point in this video, we need to discuss some Psalms, but that's not the topics. The topics um, is fake pastors, first of all. Because the reason why I say this is because some people are trying to call me a fake minister, um, bougie ghetto ratchet, um, pastor or whatever. And I never said that I was a pastor, first of all. Um, now, as far as me having a ministry, um, I can minister to somebody regardless of if you feel like I'm a cursor or the fact that you think I'm wretched or ghetto or stupid or ugly or whatever or broke a hoe or whatever you call me. I can still minister to somebody. And I've been through a lot and I'm going through a lot. So it's good to have people reach out to me and know that I'm a woman of God so they know they can come at me like that and encourage me in the Lord as well. So you don't know where I'm going to end up in life to even judge me about my etiquette and then say I don't have the right to talk about my God because it's for his name's sake, first of all, that he going to save me because I don't deserve just anything just because I deserve it. It's his grace and it is for his name's sake that he going to save me. So the pastor, the reason why I want to go into this, and I just really need to be honest with you guys, is because I was the nicest, sweetest woman doing everything so perfect, you know, just for people to continue to abuse me and hurt me. And them pastors was basically like just let them do it, just let them abuse you, it's, you know, like. That's basically how their attitude was. You know, um, I'm not talking about all of the pastors. I'm talking about the ones who I feel are very fake. Because they was going to have me sitting there being abused. And they will side with the abusers and will abuse you in their sermon. I don't know if any of you... Um, Ladies or brothers and sisters ever been in a uh, sermon where you felt like the pastor was directly trying to single you out all the time to uh, try to tear you down in the congregation or during a sermon or whatever. This is what a lot of these pastors are doing. They are trying to directly tear me down in their sermons. Because I don't behave like the all-American girl or the all-American woman. And because you don't heard me say some curse words or whatever, la, 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 la. Or you don't heard about me and you don't heard about my mouth and my attitude and my situation or whatever. Okay. But why are you directing subliminal messaging to me in your sermons? Just because I mention the Lord too, and I always mention God saying that I love God, you know, that I pray He help me and save me, and you not God to be constantly trying to direct. How you think that make me feel when I want to be encouraged by you, and you sitting over there tearing me down? But you supposed to be a man of God, and you tearing down a woman of God, cause I am. Just because I'm going through some things in my life, it don't mean he don't love me. Because he loved me a whole lot. And that's not right because God does not tear me down. And he does not discourage me. I don't care how bad I done been or behaved. He has always come to me and fought and stood up for me. Because it's a reason why I'm going off. It's a reason why I'm talking like that. Because people been abusing me and they're taking advantage of us and I'm tired. So God stand up for me. And that caused me to calm down a little bit. 
because I can put my trust in him. But it ain't y'all because y'all didn't do nothing for us. None of you stood up for us. So it was that bad to where I had millions of people coming at me by myself because of the color of my skin. And none of my people didn't stand up for me. So however I stood up for myself was however I did it. Whether I was cursing or whatever I was doing, I did it by myself. And it was a lot of people against my life. So when God stood up for me and when he stands up for me, it causes me to calm down a little bit. But for those pastors to be the main thing, Lord, help me, Jesus, please, to be able to express myself because I'm trying not to be too disrespectful because I don't really have no respect for these type of pastors. It's almost like they side with the people that's abusing you. Because you're showing that you don't want to take the abuse. That's like somebody hit you, boom, and you go, man, stop mother effing hitting me. You don't go to the person and say, oh, it ain't right to punch on this woman. Don't hit her. You go to the woman and say, don't say effing. What the hell you mean don't say effing? This grown ass just punch me in my sh What you mean? Don't say mother effing. If I ain't strong enough to fight him back, I'm going to curse him to hell with his... What you mean? And so this is what they're doing. You know, when a dude, grown ass dude come, boom, punch you and she get the... I'm on, nigga don't back up. Then, oh... Oh, she cursing, she legend, she lash, she loud, she wretched. You evil. Because it's not about that. It's about the fact that this young man just went over there punching on this woman and she ain't deserved that and you don't be punching on women. That's what it's about. So all y'all running your mouth talking about um she cursed. She said a curse word. I sure did. Because you ain't about to be hitting on me. And if I had to curse you out to get people to see something was wrong, then I had to curse you out to get people to see that something was wrong. Because as long as I kept going, he hit me. He hit me. Oh, it, it's going to get better. Just just trust God about it. You know, uh, 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 I'll look into it. Uh, did you call the police? You know, uh, you know, all that wretchedness. But when, oh, no, you ain't going to be putting your hands on me, bro. That get people to understand something's wrong. And something is wrong. People been abusing me and my kids. And they been getting away with it. And they not finna get away with it. And that's how everybody got to see that something was wrong. Because it's wrong. And it's drawing attention. And I don't care if it ain't what some people think the right attention. I don't care. You ain't finna be abusing me and my kids. Point blank, period. So I don't... Let me... Hold on, y'all.